There has been a large data breach of an organization that provides web services for a number of organizations, and this includes the breach of data of both customers and non-customers. And this is done by Anonymous, and some have described it as a complete own of these systems. So we're gonna talk about all of this right now. Now first, off the top, I wanna make sure that I clarify you know, all of this due to the nature of this story. Myself, then this channel, does not condone any illegal hacking of any kind. We are reporting the story simply uh, just to share information, report the news, and make sure that you are aware and, and you understand from a threat intelligence perspective how you know some of these events might affect your organization. We also do not condone any hate speech of any kind or any of that. You'll see why I'm including that here in just a moment due to uh, you know some of the parties impacted here. Uh, but, you know, I just want to put that out front. We are reporting the news and, you know, just follow the law and, and be a good person. Now, this breach affected Epic. Now, what is Epic? Epic is a domain registration and web service provider. What makes them special in this case, though, is that they provide services to a number of known right-wing websites and more extremist uh, websites on the internet. Some of these uh, websites you may have heard of on the news or you know on social media like 8chan, Gab, Parler, as well as a number of sites that were tied to the January 6th insurrection. In fact, NPR goes as far as saying that Epic is a service that is quote unquote keeping the, keeping the far right alive. Now recently, and this is a couple weeks ago as of the moment of this recording, but Anonymous breached Epic. And the information that's come out on this attack has progressively grown, and that's kind of why I wanted to share this information, because now it appears to have gotten to a critical point where it's important for just about anybody uh, that works in cybersecurity to, to know generally of what's going on. Now, originally, the hack was believed to have only leaked about 18 gigabytes of data, and it was you know, not like a ton of data, just, you know, some basic information. However, now it appears that that data might exceed over 180 gigabytes of data. In fact, Anonymous themselves claim that this is enough data for them to identify service owners for some of the various websites that are hosted by Epic uh, so they can initiate follow-on attacks. Now, this is important because this not only affects customers of Epic. You might be watching this story and thinking, you know, whatever thought might be flowing through your head, I'm not gonna vocalize that myself. However, uh, th this does impact non-customers as well. In fact, over 15 million email addresses were leaked as part of this, as part of this data leak, and that includes other PII like names, addresses, uh, phone numbers and other kinds of sensitive information. It's not yet known whether or not credit card information was part of that as well. However, you, you might be wondering why exactly non-customer information might be kept by Epic and that might be because uh, some of the clients of Epic might have been collecting just general information from random people online. Uh, you know, th this data tends to accumulate over time. So we're gonna talk about this here in a moment, but if you're checking to see if anyone in your organization uh, has been affected by this and has their PII floating around the internet, that may not mean necessarily that they were a client of Epic or that they were working with one of these websites or whatever. Um, it, it, you know, it's a big internet and a lot of people are getting their you know personal data you know, sucked up by a lot of websites. So what else has been uh, taken? It's recently come out that even APIs to Twitter, PayPal, Coinbase, and a number of other uh, you know services used by Epic have also been stolen. In fact, full disk images appear to have been stolen as well. Now that's a lot of technical information that you know the attackers seem to have grabbed, and that might also include a lot of the information stored on those systems. And that's really where you know, that large number of data comes from that 180 gigabyte feature, but also all the names, you know, and all the all the PII. Now, how does this affect you and what should you do? Well, if, you know, it's always good to check have I been pwned. If you're working in an organization, I mean, as an individual, you wanna, you know, occasionally check yourself to make sure some of, you know, your data is secure, but you also wanna make sure that you're doing checks on, you know, members in your organization whoever you're working for to make sure that everybody's secure and no one's getting caught up in any data leaks. So if you check Have I Been Pwned and you find that a member of your organization has been caught up in this, you know, 
just again, have grace, you know, remember a lot of people are having their data scraped from the internet without their knowledge even. And, you know, that may not mean that they're necessarily affiliated with any of the things going on uh, in this situation. However, it's important to check because again, 15 million is a lot. And uh, you, you always want to do your due diligence in these situations and provide proper threat hunting. So with that, there's probably going to be more information coming out on this before long. Um, if, you know, the threat is, you know, made due on, on there being follow-up att follow attacks, then, you know, we'll probably circle back to this. But in the meantime, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're so close to 1,000. And, uh, and check in on the Cyber Monday shows. We got some awesome interviews going on. And we will be having an awesome celebration as soon as we pass 1,000, which does include giveaways for surprise days. So, uh, you know, definitely hit the like button. It really helps with the algorithm. I uh, will see you all next time.